Hello everybody, in this video I'm going to show you how to boost the moisturizing property of your skincare product using two ingredients. A lot of you have been asking me, should I use sodium lactate, should I use um, um, if you are making all skincare products, I'm going to recommend two humectant to you that will boost okay, the moisturizing property of your product. The first humectant I'm going to recommend is a natural betaine that I, all, I talked about in my previous video. Natural betaine, a very powerful humectant, very, very solid. When you use that 3%, okay, powerful. So if you can use that 3%, I use propanidio 1,3. Okay, use a uh, natural betaine, 3%, use propanidio 1,3 at 2%. This is going to greatly boost the moisturizing property of your skincare product. I'm saying this uh, from experience. Some of you will ask me, okay, what happened to uh, glycerin? Can I, can I have glycerin also? Won't it help me? I'm not saying you shouldn't have glycerin. Glycerin has its limits. Glycerin can be very... Uh, uh, sticky okay and the moisturizing property is not as strong as that of natural betaine okay and propanidia 1,3 so uh, from experience I know okay that when you use betaine powder at 3% and you use propanidia 1,3 at 2% it's going to greatly boost the prop, uh, moisturizing property of your active of your skincare product also some people will ask me okay what about can I add um, um, what do you call it? vitamin B5, you know? Can I add uh, pantenol? Stuff like that, can I add hyaluronic acid? You don't have to add all of this to boost up, you know? Sometimes new formulators, they do use too many actives and it doesn't really help them. If you have a formulation, for instance, and you have to add all these active to it, well, if you are making it for yourself, you can go ahead and add so many active to it. You can even add hyaluronic acid to it and just and so on and so forth. But the issue is when you have too much conflicting active in your formulation, it can really affect your formulation. So keep that in mind. If you had a natural betaine propanidio, I just I see some formula and just looking at it, you will know that it's a trial and error formula. The more the active you had, the the chances of conflict conflict okay they can even conflict each other and even cause irritation for your customer so if i were you i want to formulate a lotion uh, a toner for instance i don't have to use all of this i know for sure natural betaine has this uh, anti-irritation uh, property so is it that i see okay what what should i use i'm going to take out hyaluronic acid okay i'm going to take out vegetable glycerin and then i'm going to use propanidio why Natural betaine is a powerful anti-static ingredient, conditioning ingredient, moisturizer, humectant, loaded, and this is with evidence with clinical trial. And propanidio has something, is a humectant that's not sticky, okay? It's not sticky and also, apart from not being sticky, it also boosts the property of your preservative. So why not help myself with these two? okay and just leave the rest because these two are powerful enough um some of you can even say okay i want to use this at 10 percent i want to use this as nine percent no the percentage doesn't really matter okay don't think oh you know i want to use it them at big percentage i used to see some website where people get free formulas and you know they just put wrong thing in even if you use large percentage of active you are costing yourself money it will not be profitable for you if you have to sell it and also that doesn't mean it's going to work okay a little bit of your active is enough to function if your pro if your formula is if your product is properly formulated so be careful where you get your formulas from that's why i set up stable cosmetic formulas uh, last year to help cosmetic formulators also if you visit uh, visit my training website stable cosmetic formulas you can see a lot of formulas where you can use to make uh, skincare and hair care products so thanks so much for uh, for joining me today so this is about it to boost the proper uh, moisturizing property of your skincare but just add this at three percent add this at two percent and you know add the rest of the ingredient and you are good to go thanks so much for watching this is a channel for you if you want to increase your formulation skills so click that subscribe button 
and the notification icon to be notified when I upload my next video. Thanks for watching.